there senior high school students welcome or welcome back here on my channel this is teacher Jinjin your virtual teacher here on YouTube one simple interest you know it's quite difficult to pursue our dreams especially in some trying times like what our country is experiencing on the COVID-19 pandemic dreaming is just a dream the realization of it is the product of our perseverance patience and determination. For now, continue your studies, develop your skills, and cultivate your talents because those are your weapons in life. I hope that you somehow encountered some math of investment terms like simple interest, loans, savings, investments, maturity value, money, resources, and the like. This lesson will help you understand simple interest. Different terminologies about the simple interest that you can use for the succeeding lesson once you go deeper on the problem solving about simple interest. Terminologies time or term, it is the amount of time in years the money is borrowed or invested. Principle, it is the amount of money borrowed or invested on the origin date. Creditor, it refers to the person or institution that invests the money or makes the funds available. Maturity date, it is the date on which the total amount borrowed with interest is to be completely repaid. Origin or loan date. It is the date on which money is received by the borrower. Maturity or future value. It is the amount after T years that the lender receives from the borrower on the maturity date. This video introduces a new chapter in general mathematics. Specifically, it introduces math of investment. Others call it business mathematics. But either way it still includes finances, money, credit, investments, banking policies, and other topics that are related to finances. I know that some of you have encountered the words or terminologies mentioned above that would be a big help to start. What's more? Activity 1.1, write the word true if the statement is correct, otherwise write false on a separate answer sheet. If your answer is false, Write the word or phrase that will make the statement correct. 1. Simple interest changes throughout the investment term. False, remains constant. 2. Simple interest computation will always be based on the original principle. True. 3. Interest is the amount of money invested or borrowed originally. False, it must be the principle is the original amount. 4. Simple interest is the product of the principal, rate of interest, and time. True. 5. In ordinary interest, the interest is computed based on 365 days. False. 360 days. Activity 1.2. 1. Interest. It is the amount that is charged for the privilege of borrowing money. 2. Borrower or debtor. It refers to a person or institution who owes money. 3. Principal. It is the amount of money originally invested or borrowed. 4. I sub S equals P, R, T. It is the formula for computing simple interest. 5. Lender or creditor. It refers to the person, institution who made the funds available. Activity 1.3. Solve the following problems. 1. A couple with three children are peacefully living in a barangay near the city proper. The husband is a government employee while the wife is a rug so. They always remind their children about this. Bilhin ang kailangan at huwag kailanganin ang hindi kayang bilhin. Because of this teaching, the children open a joint account to a certain cooperative to have a better investment. The total amount they earned in selling rugs was put in their account in the cooperative to help their parents. Their total earnings amounting to 5,000 Cuban pesos will earn an interest rate of 7.5% per year. Help them to compute for the simple interest earned and maturity value if their money will be invested in three years. Step 1. Identify the given and the unknown. Given. Total amount invested, principal, equals 5,000 pesos. Rate equals 7.5% or 0.075 per year. Time equals 3 years. Step 2. Substitute the given to the formula for simple interest. 
I sub S equals PRT. I equals 5000 times 0 0.075 times 3. I equals 1125.00 pesos. Step 3. Substitute the given to the formula to compute maturity value. F equals P plus I sub S. F equals 5000.00 pesos plus 1125.00. F equals 6125.00 pesos.